Good day, everyone. Ali Safi here from Safi Financial Network. Today is September 22nd, 2024. In this video, I'm going to talk about inflation, folks. So inflation is kind of like bottoming. And I know it's it's very, very hard and it's kind of like a painful for lots of people to hear that. But I believe that inflation in this month or next is going to be bottom. And then we're going to see another inflation spike in lots of prices, especially commodities and also energy prices as well. So if you haven't watched my energy um, analysis video, make sure to watch that one. I'm going to put a link up there and uh, you can see that. Um, crude and natural gas, they're kind of like a bottoming and they're kind of like a forming the bottoming base for another rally to the upside. And that's going to increase the Federal Reserve just right around the corner for the rate cut. If they bring the rate more like down, down the road, then they're going to just uh, inflate the inflation and they don't want to do that. If they keep the rate as is, they're going to just... Uh, uh, pushing the economy, especially U.S. economy, into recession. So that's going to be a tough time, I believe, um, next six months for Federal Reserve about the inflation, about the job market, and everything is going to be very, very complicated situation, if you ask me. So before getting to you, let's get to the chart, see what chart tells us, because um, this is very, very important video, very important informative. This is DBC, which is... Uh, pressure uh, commodity index fund. And uh, let me go to weekly chart, folks. This is a weekly chart. As you see here, um, this basket or this ETF has energy uh, in um, kind of like a very, very high weight energy in this basket, crude and natural gas. And that's why you see that this one is coming down while inflation is getting down, while prices actually is coming down as well. But at the same time, this is forming a very nice bottoming formation. So coming to this level um, and forming a very nice bottom, which is going to be a 20 to 21 area. We see that for second consecutive big to the upside. So if this one, if the EBC goes up to 23 to almost $24 per share, then we can see some kind of like a consolidation. And if it breaks through, I would say inflation is coming back, especially with crude prices and natural gas prices, which I believe that they're going to just be spiking up in the next uh, three months or so. So, um, And this one can get back all the way up to important, not a double top, but I believe that a lower high is coming somewhere around 27 to 28, which is going to be a 50% almost 25 to 50 percent uh, increase for the prices again so that's going to be a huge uh, kind of like a move in energy market especially uh, for the crude as well if we go to a uh, daily chart let me go to daily chart first here so daily chart shows actually be their picture of this so we are kind of like a sitting around 22 but if we get above 2260 23 to 24 is coming down the road. And basically, the most important uh, pivot, I should say, is going to be somewhere around $2,400, uh, $24. So if we get above $24, breakthrough, and get above these three pivots, I should say uh, DBC paved its way for a massive breakout to the upside, somewhere around 27 to 28, which, as I said, it's going to be 25 a percent uh, kind of like increase in prices of crude, energy, and also the other commodities as well. It's going to be agricultural commodities as well. For the agricultural commodities like wheat, like oats, corn, coffee, we have another ETF that is already, I believe, uh, forming a very nice pattern. And this is DBA, which is agricultural commodity. And you see that this flag already broken up to the upside. So this is kind of like a first warning sign for the market that agricultural commodities are getting back to their bullish momentum. They recapture SMA 20 for sure. And they are kind of like in attack of this previous pivot, which is somewhere around 27. So if this ETF breaks above, I should say strongly above 26, pull back 
then we can see new all-time high in this um, uh, commodities, uh, which which is going to be kind of like even half a scale of this move. It's going to get us to 28 above, which is going to be another $3 uh, from the current price. And that's going to be already uh, another 10 to 15% increase in all commodity uh, prices, agricultural commodities, which is going to be, again, uh, people don't want to hear that. People want to see prices are easing and uh, they don't want to get back to inflation again. But it seems like Federal Reserve actually is having a hard time. Right now, as you see here in a daily chart, we got kind of like a reversal to the downside. I believe that we're going to see a corrective move a potential corrective move to 24, but that was kind of like a correction and nothing more. We, if we can get another spike to the upside, that would be kind of like, as I said, a signaling for more higher prices are coming for wheat, for corn, and for coffee, for coca, and for all those, the other agricultural commodities. In next videos, I want to put some commodity prices for copper, for a basic materials like a copper. And I'm gonna just analyze a wheat, corn, and coffee as well to show you exactly how we are sitting in this environment. All right, folks, I believe I covered everything. If you like this video, please smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and have a good one. See you on the chart, bye-bye.